Hi everyone, this door is open. Welcome back to the Multitasking Yogi. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a yoga flow for building strength and balance on the mat and in your everyday life. So this is gonna be a flow that gets you really fired up. It's gonna be a nice, quick um, workout for everyone. And I hope that you build strength as you hopefully come back to this flow on my channel and continue to practice with me. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Go ahead and stand at your mat center. Exhale to Dasana. This is a nice first exhale of your practice. Go ahead and ground down into all four corners of your feet. Take a sacred moment here to just breathe in. And once again, exhale, stand tall into Dasana. Inhale your arms overhead, Urdhva Svasana. Bring your palms together. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, step or jump to plank, come down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, downward dog. This is the first downward dog of our practice. Let's go ahead and walk it out as much as we can. And really feel the deep stretch all the way through the backs of our calves here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, go ahead and roll forward to a plank. Exhale, bend your knees, push back with your heels. Let's get some fluid downward dogs. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back one more. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. On your next inhale, jump to flat back. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, the arms overhead, Urdhva Stasana. Exhale, stand tall, Tadasana. Let's go ahead for one more round of Sun Salutation A. Inhale, the arms overhead, Urdhva Stasana. Exhale, forward fold. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Come down to your Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, downward dog. Go ahead and take three breaths here in Downward Dog. Continue to walk your feet out. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring your right heel into your glute. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to left elbow. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to right elbow. And exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, lengthen through the shoulders. And on your exhale, float the right heel back behind you. Open through the side body. Take a wild thing here. Inhale. I like to windmill my arms here to just get extra movement. Exhale, one. Make sure you're keeping a micro bend in your elbow to protect your joint. Inhale, exhale, two, one more. Inhale, and exhale. Come back to downward dog. Go ahead and roll forward into the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, push back through your heels. Let's repeat that on the opposite side now. Inhale, left heel to left glute. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee across to right elbow. Exhale, three-legged dog. You should really start to feel yourself heating up here. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, three-legged dog. Go ahead and take a nice deep inhale here while I adjust away from the wall. And on your exhale, float the left heel back behind you. Open up through the left side body, take a wild thing. 
Inhale, turn your chest up to the sky. Open through the front body. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, and exhale, three, back to downward dog. Go ahead and inhale, jump to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale this time, come and sit back to chair pose. Tuck the tailbone down, stay open through the chest. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Bring the eyes of your elbows nice and tight to the ears. Inhale. Exhale. You should feel the burn here. Inhale. Exhale. Two. This is where strength gets built. Inhale. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Take a flat back. Exhale. Step or jump back to plank. Take your vinyasa here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's hold here for three breaths. Keep walking the feet out. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. And on your next inhale, Step the right foot forward. Inhale the arms overhead, warrior one. Pivot that back foot flat at a 45 degree angle. Hold here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three on your next. Inhale. Go ahead and open through the shoulders. Take warrior two. Take a quick rebend of your front knee and hold here in warrior two for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Try and deepen the bend in your front knee if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure your arms stay parallel to one another. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and weave your right palm through the inside of your right leg and you're gonna take a bind behind your back. So my hands are clasped behind my back here. We're gonna hold here for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Hold here, come up to side angle pose. Bring the right elbow on top of the right thigh. We're just gonna lay it nice and gently here. We're not gonna lean heavily on our thigh, but we're gonna hold here for side angle pose. Go ahead and bring the left palm across your left ear and keep your arm here, inhale. Exhale, one, you should be shaking at this point because I am, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, three, bring both hands down to either side of the front foot. Go ahead and step back to plank. Take your vinyasa here. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Get ready to repeat on the opposite side. Inhale, this time step the left foot forward. Inhale, the arms overhead, palms together. Bring that back foot flat. Roll your one for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale, two, drop the shoulders down and away from your ears, squeeze the shoulders, inhale, exhale, three, open through the shoulders, hold on warrior two, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, if you haven't taken your rebend at this point, go ahead and take it, exhale, two, one more, inhale, Exhale, go ahead and weave your right palm through the inside of your left leg. Take a bind behind your back here. Gaze up, pivot your chest up with your gaze. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. I know this is hard, guys. 
inhale exhale three stay here go ahead and bring your left elbow on top of your left thigh extend the right palm overhead hold here inside ankle pose inhale exhale one inhale exhale two inhale and exhale three bring your hands down to either side of the front foot let's take our vinyasa here exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog squeeze the shoulder blades exhale downward dog inhale jump to flat back exhale fold forward inhale the arms overhead or to Vastasana. exhale tadasana let's move into our balance sequence here go ahead and inhale the right foot up to either the calf or the inside of your thigh. So from the front, we're going to be taking tree pose and it's going to look like this. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale them to heart center. Hold here in tree pose for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, ground down into the four corners of your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale exhale three now here's where it gets a little bit tricky we're going to take hand to toe pose so what that's going to look like you're going to take your pointer and your middle finger you're going to wrap it around your big toe and you're going to extend your leg out in front of you be sure to stay grounded through the four corners of your standing leg from the side it's going to look like this hand to toe pose here a modification for this pose is simply to hug your knee in closer to your chest I like to place my hand here to make sure I'm not rounding through my lumbar. This helps me to stay tall and open through my chest and my shoulders. Let's go ahead and hold here for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. If you're feeling confident, you can try and extend a little bit. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Stay grounded through the standing leg. Go ahead and sweep your right heel back behind you. Drop the crown of your head and your chest down long. Take airplane arms at your side. Go ahead and come to warrior three. Let's hold in warrior three for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three drop the back leg down once again we're going to take side angle pose with the bind go ahead and weave your left palm through the inside of your left thigh gaze up hold here for three breaths inhale exhale one inhale exhale two inhale exhale three Go ahead and walk your back foot in or jump your back foot in, closing your gate stance. Ground down here into the four corners of your right foot. Come up onto the toes of your left foot. We're going into bird of paradise now. So I want you to gently and carefully come into this, especially if it's not in your practice. You're slowly coming up and balancing. It's hard for me to do it slow, but if you come up quickly, oh, and ground, th ground down through your foot, you should be able to open up to Bird of Paradise. This is in your practice. Go ahead and extend your knee here. Inhale. Exhale, or you can hold here in the modification. Inhale. Exhale. Two, one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, down long. Bring your hands down to either side of the front foot. Step your feet back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's repeat on the opposite side. But let's go ahead and take three breaths here in downward dog to take a breather. Inhale. Exhale. One, continue to walk the feet out. Inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, 
three, jump to flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, the arms overhead, or to Uttanasana, exhale, Tadasana, let's repeat our balance sequence, and know that our peak pose is bird of paradise, because I'm seriously sweating, this is a great workout. Once again, I'll be showing you from the front what you're gonna be doing. So you can inhale your left foot to the inside of your calf or the inside of your thigh, whatever suits you the best. I'd like to keep my hair at my calf. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale your hands to heart center. Go ahead and hold here in tree pose for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, keep your balance here. Exhale, three, go ahead and take the pointer and middle finger of your left hand, wrap them around the big toes of your left foot, extend your left knee out in front of you. Again, don't be afraid to take the modification here. Hold your knee in closer to your chest. Support your weight by pushing through your big toe and pulling back through your pointer and middle fingers. Make sure you stay open through the shoulders and squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, go ahead and float the left heel back, drop the crown of the head and chest down, take airplane arms at your side, hold here in warrior three for three breaths, inhale, exhale, one, Inhale, exhale, two, stay grounded through the four corners of your foot, your right foot. Inhale, exhale, three, release that back leg down. Go ahead and weave your right palm through your right thigh. Take side angle pose with the bind here. Gaze up, open through the left shoulder. Inhale, exhale. One, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Go ahead and step that back foot in, close your gate stance. I'm gonna use my elbow here to sort of push in through the inside of my left thigh. As I gently come up onto my toes, I'm gonna ground down into the four corners of my standing leg and pull my hip up with me. Keep breathing here, inhale. Exhale, one. You can adjust your grip here to allow for more space in your bind. Inhale, exhale, stay tall and open through the shoulders. From the front, your, your modified bird of paradise is going to look, once you ground down into the four corners of your foot, your modified bird of paradise. It's gonna look like this. So go ahead and hold here. Bird of paradise, I'm gonna be taking the modified version. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Release your back foot down to the ground. Go ahead and windmill your hands down to either side of your front foot. Step back to Chaturanga. Let's take one more vinyasa in this practice. Come down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. I'll walk the feet out here once more. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, come down to your knees, push back to a nice deep child's pose. Let's go ahead and hold here in child's pose for three breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, Exhale, three, uh, come forward. Keep your forearms placed firmly down on the mat, but roll forward gently. Cross at your ankles, sit back on your bum. 
and extend both of your legs out long in front of you. Go ahead and shake your legs out here. Inhale the arms overhead and exhale, forward fold. A modification that I like to tell you guys here that's similar to a modification we did in the restorative yoga video that I did on my channel is keeping a bend in both of your knees and focusing instead of being able to grab around your feet, instead just dropping your chest down to the tops of your thighs. So if this is a good modification for you here, then go ahead and take it at this point. Go ahead and hold here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. You guys can probably hear that water running. Exhale. Two. That's life with roommates. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Release. Go ahead and inhale your right foot into your body. Bring your arms overhead. And exhale. Hand, head to knee pose. I like to run my palm along the inseam of my leg, bend down. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three, release. Go ahead and bring your right foot back out, long in front of you. Inhale your right foot into the center of your body. Bring your arms overhead and exhale. Take head to knee pose on the opposite side. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three, release your legs out long. Go ahead and shake your knees out. Inhale, both feet into, into your, the center of your body, or the midline of your body. We're gonna take butterfly pose here. Go ahead and take your thumbs, place them into the balls of your feet and open your feet like a book. Stay open through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Instead of releasing your legs out long, you're just gonna inch forward on your mat so that you have enough room to recline gently down to lay flat on your back. So go ahead and roll down gently here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And we're gonna take bound angle pose, your reclined bound angle pose here. Go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades, tuck your shoulders underneath you, open through your front body. Allow your palms to relax out wide, facing upward. Stay open and relaxed through the hips. So your knees should be drawing down to the ground like weights here. Go ahead and take deep breaths here. Let's go ahead and take three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Let's go ahead and take one more bonus breath here. Go ahead and place one of your palms over your stomach and place the other on your chest. Inhale, feel your stomach expand, exhale. Feel your stomach deflate. Actually, that felt really good. Let's take another one. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Extend your exhale here. Okay. At this point in time, if you choose in your practice, you can simply just draw your knees out long in front of you, stay open through your chest and shoulders, and take your Shavasana. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need it after this practice. But I thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I have to do the little walk of shame to get closer to the camera. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this yoga flow. I think this is a great example of how no one's perfect, not even yoga teachers. 
I have not worked on my bird of paradise in a really long time. And so if you guys struggled with this flow, just know that I was struggling right along with you. But I hope that you had a good practice. I hope that you worked up a sweat like I did. Um, and I hope you come back to this practice because this is a really good strength building practice that I think you'll see a lot of improvement in if you continue to do it over a long period of time. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna take a look at other yoga flows that I've done, please go take a look at my restorative yoga flows and all the other ones that I have on my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is Casey Molina, over and out. Oh wait, it's over here. Oh my God. Okay, I was staring over here the whole time, but it's actually over here. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>